the connection is still pretty well maintained there i think it's going to start to dip a little bit because i know there's about three walls uh, to the left of me to the right even so this is not my first take and i'm running out of breath so <laughs> Right, well, we're ready to do the speed tests of the mesh system from Google. We're, of course, talking about Google Wi-Fi there. What we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of tests with this device, speed tests and coverage tests throughout. But first and foremost, what we want to do is get a base level test of what it's like with only one working mesh system. So what I'm going to do is move away from this mesh point and on screen right now there should be our speed checker app that we we're using before, link in the description. But without further ado, let's start making our way from this mesh point in the office. So like before, when my previous tests of Sonology Mesh Network and of the Linksys Velop system, what we're doing is we're moving away from that original office point. It's about six, seven o'clock in the morning here on a Monday morning in the UK. I'm going to move to the corner of this office here and behind me there in that corner is the office we've just come out of. So right now that is the only Wi-Fi point available. It's probably going to go up a little bit as we go closer to that office but then we're going to make our way through this building. Now in my previous video some of you guys commented that I didn't seem to go too far uh, vertically from the mesh points. Don't worry we're going to remedy that today and behind me is both the Linksys Velop point, uh, the Linksys TP, um, was it Deco, and behind me is the Google. Today we're focusing on the Google Wi-Fi there, which isn't active right now and disconnected from that network. We're only using one mesh point. We're going to move along into the corridor here at the back of the building. We're going to go all the way to the back, and I'm sure you're seeing a real dip in performance there from that Wi-Fi point. I'm going to turn around, go through here. Sorry, I don't have a stabilizer there. This is still a bit Blair Witch, but the Wi-Fi signal there should be creeping up ever so slightly as we go close to the original and only point over there. But what we're gonna do now is start going a little bit further away from those points and potentially losing complete contact with that original signal. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes down because I'm going down some stairs. But right now we're making our way to a completely different floor of this building that's a fair old distance from that mesh point. We're making our way into a good distance from this original connection. We've still got connection but it's very very weak indeed. As we make our way further into this building we're now I think of a good 12 to 15 meters point to point from that original Wi-Fi mesh point but again only the one network connection here so now here we are on this sofa and behind me is where in our next video that mesh point is going to be but right now that is the only connection available and as you can see the signal is pretty poor indeed and what we're going to do is run this exact same test again but this time with that mesh network up and running let's go Right, so our Google Wi-Fi mesh network is set up and now we're going to test it with three node points active. As you can see right now on speed test on screen, utilization and access is incredibly high. That's because we are literally next to the Google Wi-Fi there. What I'm going to do is start making my way through the building, the same walk we did at the early part of the video, but this time making our way past those other mesh points. But again, let's go. So again, moving forward, that original mesh point there was point three in our original video and what we've done is using the mobile app activate those mesh points and make them accessible this meant that the same dull unused mesh network now has full mesh abilities we're moving away into the office carrying on you'll have to forgive me if i look down occasionally i don't really fancy dropping this entire kit on the stairs and already we're probably losing connection. Yep, we are on the mesh network and carrying forward, but we should start to pick up that mesh point we placed in the kitchen earlier. So we're moving forward through here. And again, got to give Google Wi-Fi this. It is incredibly straightforward to set up. If we go through here, running out of breath, carrying here, we can see right here in that kitchen area, that Google Mesh point behind me. If we carry on from there, moving forward, 
we'll go down into the corridor carrying on into here and again the connection is still pretty well maintained there I think it's going to start to dip a little bit because I know there's about three walls uh, to the left of me to the right even so this is not my first take and I'm running out of breath so carrying forward we move our way back towards that kitchen area we're probably going to see that spike again start to rise as we pass the kitchen mesh wi-fi point there and as we move forward into this main area we can go back into the corner and into my primary office that will show us that original mesh point that we did at the start of the video there's the office again moving forward going back i feel like i'm selling real estate we're carrying on into this area and through the door and we've already picked up that wi-fi point and here is that mesh point here and there we have it that has been the speed test and coverage test of that google wi-fi point now for the true density and abilities of this device it's more about the software if i bring that down there it's more about the software than it is about the hardware it's worth mentioning that after this i'm going to be doing speed tests of that tp link there when I've got that up and running so it's going to be interesting to see how these two compare but moreover how they're compared with my original speed test of the Synology mesh system thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this if you've got any questions please let me know below but otherwise thank you so much for watching cheerio bye bye